Hello. Hello, hello. I'm going to try the streaming thing one more time. I got a feeling I know what's going on that's not working here. I might not be able to stay uh, long today because of the whole uh, Russia-Ukraine thing. A lot of stuff going internally. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looked like you were saying something, but I couldn't hear you. I still can't hear you. <laughs> I said, have fun with that. It sounds uh, oh, yeah. probably going to be a big mess uh, for quite a while. Yep. All right. I think we are live. OK. Yeah. Got streaming to work. Figured it out. <laughs> I think we we don't necessarily have much today, right? I think it's just gonna be um RC is still open until a week tomorrow, right? Yep. Um yeah, I think the the main updates uh it looks like we're already sort of four minutes in. The the, the main updates um from, from a lot of it is uh somebody new from the CNCF or sorry. Um, after Celeste left, uh, somebody else reviewed the doc, had um, a lot less sort of comments, mostly sort of structural, that, not structural, more like uh, grammar and some a few word choice and some minor structural sorts of things to clean some stuff up. Um, and then they also, uh, they had some comments on like certain word choice, like why are we using British English? Um, and I'm like, look, that yeah, that's a whole other thing I don't want to get involved in. Um, but yeah, it, it, there's there, uh, that's one of the big ones. Um, the other big one was just to try and uh, I think after you know some of the conversations I know we had is uh, we just want to um, remove any reference, like remove any explicit reference to any tool from from the doc, just because we um, there's a lot of folks who are pigging me for lots of different reasons who are just like, hey, why is why did you say tool X but not tool Y? Why do you say tool Y but not tool Z? And and you know, that sort of thing. And and I think um, based on some of the conversations I've been saying, what probably makes sense is to have something like a living document of just saying, hey, if you want to know, you know, what tools probably maybe make sense and what the sort of current looking around this sort of thing is, you know, here's where that doc is. So we can just kind of list all the tools and then have a focus yeah, on, focus you know, on. the other way around of having folks sort of, um, you know, I, I would much rather a tool like, for example, the stuff that we're doing with the secure software factory, I would much rather that tool references and says, Hey, we are an implementation of this thing than saying, than having the document say, Hey, here's an implementation of the secure software factory. Cause I don't want it to come off as, Hey, this is the officially sponsored thing, right? And I want to, and and the problem that's happening is a lot of people are starting to take it that way, and just just rather not do that. And then obviously with folks who are just like, hey, look, I get it. Everybody has a startup. Everybody has something they're trying to sell. And I'd really rather not get into the the um, the business of, oh, hey, you 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 put your you know you're an open group and you sort of said, hey, we're we're um, we're uh, endorsing this product that could make somebody rich, right? I'd, I'd really rather not get involved in that in that situation. Yeah, and I think we have to cloud native security map for that. So, you know, we can channel all that 
all that energy <laughs> to 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 then just deal with it, deal with it once, right? With with we've went through this wave of like, uh, oh, you know, we have this list of things where like, okay, how do we gauge a project? Um, what are the priorities that we list a project and not list a project? Um, so yeah, I, I agree on that. Let's keep the list somewhere just so that when we want to put it in, we, we have it handy. Would um, it... Oh, I'm sorry, my hand up. Uh, would it make sense to have like a, a radar or something like, like that for supply chain security products, right? I think that would be a better, yep. it might be a better way to do it. I think that we have, CNCF has some stuff like that, don't don't they? Where like a tech, like roadmaps and radars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I agree with you on that one and, you know, having it be something like a radar, a living doc, that kind of thing. And, and make it clear like the purpose is for sort of saying, here are products that we have evaluated and this is the criteria we've evaluated them under. And, and then I think we have a lot more, um, uh, we, 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 you know, as long as there's reasoning and a lot of other stuff behind it, I think it's a lot easier to sort of defend, hey, here's why these things are listed and maybe other things are not. Um, but today, I don't think we have that, you know, reasonably in the reference architecture, in the reference architecture document, which is why I think we should probably remove it. Um, and then as far, well, if we are, are you removing tools or tools and specifications? So specifications, I think we're leaving in there. So like, I think we're saying, you know, um, I think the only specifications were really, uh, even referencing at all is spiffy in one place. And I think, okay. um, and I think we might be referencing salsa in one place, you know, stuff that is just very, very much like it is not, we're not talking about the tools. We're not talking about anything like that. And then in a few places, I think we are referring to stuff like, you know, oh, uh, you know, look at other best practices documents like the CNCF best practices documents, as well as things like, you know, NIST and other sorts of standards. So I think we just have a couple of things where we sort of generically refer to other things, but we are trying to kind of like avoid, um, yeah, I mean, even stuff like uh, in Toto, I think we've mostly removed trying to I, say, hey. I using... So I disagree okay. with removing in Toto. Uh, first of all, Salsa Providence is based on in Toto, yeah. right? Um, also, there's several projects that implement Intoto, right? Intoto is a, if you go to Justin Cormack and you ask him what, it, what Intoto is within the CNCF, his charter states that it is a specification project, right? It is not a project. Uh, it, they have some reference implementations, just like Spiffy Spire. But I think once we start talking about sanctioned specifications, right, especially once since we are a CNCF group, we should be talking about Intoto, where Salsa yep. is a implementation of Intoto. Right. So is like the witness definitions that we have that, you know, which is yeah, yeah. an open source project that we hopefully will be donating at some point. Right. So I, I, I think um, I'd like to roll back a little bit on pull, pulling in total stuff out, um, especially since it's has such a long lineage. It's well researched, it's well more than salsa or any of these other things. And we've had a lot of members been working on a long time and it solves this problem. Right. The research is there and a lot of people have been working on it for various organizations. So on that, we actually have some guidance on the requirements for those kind of things. I think especially if, you know, it isn't obviously like, I think for certain things like, um, like the NIST documents, I think those are kind of seen as um, understood to be kind of industry-wide resources. And then for standards, if there are things that are easily enumerable, um, where it's clearly defined, for example, like, you know, an S-bomb case and things like that, um, then we should just list all of them. If there is contention around it, where it's not obvious, or these are still standards that are kind of like evolving, um, then I think, you know, describing them and then following kind of like the guidelines that we have. Let me let me find it and then I'll share it in the in the Slack channel. Um, but basically it goes something like we are gonna say that this isn't the only thing, but 
we have an order of say, okay, we, we favor CNCF mentions of projects, uh, followed by having particular requirements for projects such as, you know, you need to have more than one maintainer, you need to have a certain lifespan. Um, it isn't driven just the, the open source licensing, uh, is it just driven by the organization? And then, you know, if you don't have all that, then it drops to, you know, commercial products, if you really have to mention it. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I'll find that and I'll share it in the Slack channel. But I think as long as, uh, as long as we have something to point to, it says, okay, this is how we derived it. Um, and people are okay with the criteria, then I think we kind of reduce the contention there. Yeah, if I, I was to draw a line on, go ahead, Cole. Nope, you go, man. If, if I was going to draw a line there, I would say it's either draw it on specification versus implementation, or just pick a tier on the CNCF and say, hey, we're this is a CNCF project that we're coming out with the paper. So let's go ahead and say anything that makes it up to this tier of the CNCF, they're allowed in. This is the guidance that we have for projects. Um, and then we find that this is okay for standards. You can use it for standards. If not, uh, we should define, um, you know, this can be a server exercise, right? We, we, we can define the one for, for standards and just go with that. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting like witness to be in this document at all, right? But I'm expecting that, you know, the work on supply chain security that the Intotal team has done goes into that, right? Salsa team is building off of that. Also, Intotal does a lot more than Salsa does, um, including like the verification stuff. So if we're pulling that out, right, I think, I think we're going to have a big gap and capability within this document. And that's my biggest concern. So it sounds like So is, is that contention on multiple things or is, this, is it just kind of around attestation? Um, no, uh, I, I think I was just using that as an example. I actually don't think there's any really main things around um, contention around that. I think there was some contention around, it turned out in one of the appendixes, it refers to tough slash um, notary. And mm -hmm. the SIG store folks were like, hey, why are you not including notary as part of that? thing and going, oh, well, actually, we probably shouldn't have included either of those. Um, yeah. Maybe tough because tough once again, is just a spec. Um, notary and six door are both sort of like, you know, mechanisms that kind of do the signing and yada, yada. Um, and I think, yeah, on, on that front, I think there was one thing there and there might have been one or two other things that uh, I think were sort of either OPA gatekeeper versus Keyverno or something like that. And I think the idea was, um, you know, to, to actually just sort of remove that and just sort of say admission controllers, um, as opposed to saying any specific admission controller. Um, yeah, and, and I think, yeah, the same thing goes with, even though there's no point of contention at this moment regarding that reference implementation that um, my team had sort of built, I, given that it is being donated or not donate, sorry, contributed, uh, very specifically contributed to the OpenSSF in the next couple of weeks. And given that it is um, Apache licensed and everything else, um, there is worry that, hey, somebody goes and looks at it and goes, great, I would like to make a business out of this, right? And they start to, you know, support that as, you know, and, and in fact, a bunch of folks have sort of come out and said, hey, we would love to, you know, a lot of companies that, you know, GitHub actually opened up a couple of issues with ours, us to say, hey, we would love to integrate with whatever this thing is going to become. 
And we really rather not get into the thing of like, hey, here's the OpenSSF that is sponsoring this thing that made these people rich or, or you know, got sold as something else. I really rather not that got included in the document as well. Yeah, I think the document should have requirements, right? These are the personas, these are the requirements for the persona. And then you have a second document that's more living <clears throat> and can be updated with a higher frequency that says, yep. okay, these are the tools yeah. that implement it. And if you're a vendor and you meet these licensing re requirements to put your tool on here, go ahead and make a PR and get it in there. I think that's a much more efficient way to do it than us trying to bike shed over what tools yep. should go in a document because we're never going to make anybody happy, right? You deal with this stuff in, yeah, like, yeah. The, in, yeah, like, yeah. in, in like in the business world enough, right? Let's keep it out of the open source and try to make it as efficient as possible. Let everyone play and use a pull request method to, to kind of get these things on and do an actual review of the criteria process per vendor that wants to get on there. Yep. 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 Tot yep. Totally, totally agree. Totally. Okay. So I think, I mean, I, I have a little bit of a proposal then that, hey, let's, let's, once this project gets wrapped up, can we roll into uh, doing some sort of a cloud native or doing some sort of a, a landscape uh, for um, security tooling? That exists. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not, uh, we not, have, but supply yeah, chain, yeah, I think it's supply chain. Yeah, yeah. Maybe an, an addendum to it focused on supply yeah. chain. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that would be a good idea. And, and since we're on this topic, you know, I think that. Um, post RSC after we get through like cleaning out the paper, getting approvals. Um, we, we, we may want to start discussing, you know, what's, what's next up for this group? Uh, what kind of work we want to, um, what do we want to work on next? So, so, so sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, oh, no, I was just saying that, you know, I think that um, as we're wrapping out the reference architecture, th this will be a good time for us to kind of like brainstorm again to see where we are, what do we feel like we got out of the re reference architecture and see what are like some of the next steps. And it could be talking about doing the landscape for, uh, for the tooling. It could be focusing on a different part of the inputs of software factory, the outputs of software factory distribution. Um, and I think I think this is probably a good time. You know, we spend like yep. almost six months writing a reference architecture. Um, it'd be a good time for us to, you know, have, have with the bigger group, like brainstorm a little bit, and maybe also bring this to 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 the regular group as well. Yeah, yeah, that that, that makes sense uh, to me, and um, I I think. Uh, I very much agree with sort of Cole there saying, hey, it would be great to, because I know one of the big things that's sort of come out of a lot of this is what is the state of things today? And like what tools do what today is is kind of unclear because it's changing so quickly. Um, so I almost feel like it's it's whatever, I mean, we could create a radar. It's probably going to be out of date by the time we, we build it. Even if it takes us a week, it's like, hey, you know, Witness added these 12 features, the secure software factory stuff, you know, the and we're changing the name of it to be clear. Uh, uh, um, but th that sort of thing is is going to probably add a bunch of new features. You know, I know there's been some discussions on, we would love to integrate uh, uh, Witness into what we're doing with the the that sort of reference implementation we'd love to sort of pull that in to show like hey here's how you kind of integrate tecton chains plus witness plus all these other things um but uh i think there's there's some interesting uh stuff on that front um in addition to that i think yeah the it, it i know there's been um and you've probably seen this as well uh, brendan that there's been uh some folks in the open ssf that are starting to do stuff to, for example, salsify the open source world. But hey, great! Can we start to do the same sort of thing with what we're doing? You know, with, with with what we're doing with the CNCF. Is there areas where we can contribute to that? Is there areas that we can collaborate? I think that's another big one. Um, one of the other things that's sort of coming up is like, does it make sense for us to let's say take certain projects and try and salsify them, or um, somehow? like integrate with the sort of greater um, supply chain security work, right? Because I know one of the things that we're doing with uh, 
the SSF, which is temporary name, um, is is uh, actually looking at how we map SSD, uh, SSF, uh, SSDF and other NIST and other sorts of standard. How do we sort of map what we're doing to that? And how do we map, like the thing that I'm trying to do as well is how do we map what we're doing there as, hey, this is a reference implementation of this reference architecture, or sorry, not a reference implementation. It's an implementation of this reference architecture. Here's where we totally hit it. Here's where we think that maybe that doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. And how do we map to that? How do we map to these other standards? Because I think the thing that is coming up quite quickly is people are, are, are asking how all of these things fit together. And in addition to that, especially with um, a few companies have reached out uh, and I can't talk about some of them, but a few companies have reached out who are very large enterprises, highly regulated, and they've all said, we need to um, abide by various rules. A lot of them are security, you know, uh, supply chain security rules. Some of them are literally the, the, the um, executive order. Um, some of them are other sorts of standards, right? And how does all of this sort of stuff fit together? And um I think we need to also start to discuss how do we map, like what what does that sort of thing look like? And I know that there's some discussions in the controls uh, working group on yeah. similar things. Yeah. Yeah, so I think maybe a good idea is um, it's February 24th. Maybe about two weeks from now, um, because next week we'll kind of be looking at the RFC comments and responding to them. Um, two weeks from now, I think I'll try and grab a few folks from the controls group, uh, bring them here. We can kind of have that brainstorming discussion on all the some things that we can work on. And then maybe we um, we will have a discussion from that to, to see what the interest is and, and see where we can move forward from that. Yeah. On that part of salsification, um, there is some stuff that the Ghost team is working on uh, with GitHub Actions. And I think the idea is that, you know, we want to streamline a way that we can use GitHub Actions for for repos to to get salsa two, for example, right? Salsa sheet is a little bit difficult because we don't control the build. Um, and hopefully to to fund some work to to see whether we can just like help certain projects get there, CNCF projects get there. Yeah, on that front, with some of the stuff with um, <laughs> the the SSF that's being contributed to the open SSF. And hopefully in the next week, we'll, we'll have an actual better name for it. Probably something salsa or guacamole related or spicy, something like that. Um, uh, but uh, that is all um, the, the, one of the things that we want to also do as part of the open source piece is, is we would love to like, According to some various things, GitHub Actions cannot do Salsa 3 based on the way some stuff is set up today. And there's probably some work that GitHub can probably do. But um, there is some stuff around, hey, uh, we might have actual infrastructure that we could run builds of open, you know, open source projects, Linux Foundation projects, that sort of thing. And we can probably say, hey, look, we can pull in Linux Foundation projects that want to become, you know, Salsa, you know, Salsa level three and Salsa level four into this sort of uh, thing. And to be clear, I'm just kind of this. These no, nothing's been set in stone, but there have been some discussions around. Hey, could we deploy this thing that is use that hopefully soon once the Spiffy Spire stuff is all integrated and everything else? That hey, it's it's a thing that sort of dog foods you know, the reference architecture, dog foods, the salsa stuff itself. So that like it itself is built with um, that level of, of security. And then, hey, can we then go in and then start to pull in these other open source projects and start to build them that way as well? And, um, and then we can say, hey, look, here is, I don't know, like <laughs> here, here is, uh, I don't know, uh, Keyverno, or Keyverno, and here is Gatekeeper built with 
um, you know, all of the, 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 you know, all of these tools in, in following all the best practices, all the standards and, and so on. Um, so that's something that, that we've, we've discussed a little bit, but nothing's there yet. And, and I know also there's the project uh, Alpha and Omega or whatever, um, which is uh, trying to sort of um, just generally secure open source coming out of the open SSF as well. Yeah, I think we, we have, um, we don't have lack of problems to work on. <laughs> Seems like. Yeah, I think, I think on that end, I, I would want to talk with the, the, the larger group. Um, uh, the, I, I want to talk with the larger group on stuff like, uh, what do people think we should be working on and like also talking with like, Hey, look, the open SSF is working on stuff. There's inevitably other groups who are working on similar things and there's going to be areas where we overlap, but I want to make sure that where we can, I would much rather collaborate and focus our stuff on maybe, you know, stuff that is, is specific to CNCF. Yeah, we, we could definitely, I think it would be helpful as well. Uh, I know we didn't do this for the initial uh, supply chain or uh, paper. But maybe we should, once the reference architecture paper is out, maybe we should do a survey, get uh, Linux Foundation to do a survey on those two documents and get public feedback on, you know, what are people looking for? Uh, what are the things that we can provide? What are some of the areas that people want to focus on? Mike, are you talking? Okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't want to kind of like discuss this too much because we, I think we, we, we all agree that we had to have this, this, sorry, this discussion with the larger group. Um. So I guess is there anything else that we have to chat about or we want to chat about? Okay. If not, um, I, I I might have a demo for next week. I'll throw it on the schedule if we, we have it ready. But uh, witness integration with uh, some GitLab stuff. So it should be cool. exciting. Cool. And Cole, Actually, I, 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 oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was, I was I going to go up engine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, and, and Cole, uh, in, sometime in the next uh, week or so, if you, if you have some time, I'd love to kind of chat with you about some of the open source witness stuff and how we can maybe include uh, some of that in an example build that we're doing, showing like, hey, here is witness wrapping this, and then here is chains coming in, showing these other pieces and, and so on. Yeah, I mean, we should be able to verify salsa attestations. We haven't tried yet, but I th it should just work. Um, so I think if, if we can do a little bit of work there over the next couple of weeks and kind of prove that out, uh, it may be, you know, seamless. And that would be really awesome, right? Um, I think that'd be best case scenario, but definitely probably a little bit of work and some testing to, to get to that point to, to understand uh, what we need to do. Cool. Um, I had a question for Cole actually. So, so we've been working on the Spire stuff um, in in tech and pipelines, and I think what we're doing now is kind of just like verification by the controller, so kind of like just infrastructure protection. Um, I saw on the witness repo that you're using I, ITE seven. Are you using that for the SVIDs as well, or um, I'm just kind of curious yeah. because. Yeah, actually, we just, uh, the, Mikhail just finished up the, the PR, I think, last night uh, that adds full uh, certificate and constraint support to the policy document. So we're working on uh, merging that in and figuring out what we need to, I think it might be breaking, so we're going to, we got to figure out the release on it, but that should be in there uh, by the end of the week or uh, Monday in the release. We should have a release with that in there. Awesome. Yeah, I'll take a look at the PR. Um... Wasn't sure whether we wanted 
um, change to include that attestation as well. Although I think based on the current TEP, there isn't a requirement to do that. Cool. Shall we call it? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Hey, uh, great time as always. Yeah. Later. All right, have a good one. Have a good one.